with doubt about God's power. The reason is probably because he hasn't answered prayer as you expected. But that doesn't prove he's unable to do what you desire. It just demonstrates he had a different plan in mind. Living by faith isn't a matter of expecting God to do what you want, but of trusting him to do what he desires. Sometimes we feel like the man in these verses whose son was possessed by an evil spirit. He struggled with doubts about Christ's ability to heal people, even though Jesus had repeatedly proven that he could. We can all identify with the Father's response. I do believe, but help my unbelief. Yes. At times, even Christians experience some uncertainty regarding God's ways, truth, or ability. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, when that happens, he is gracious to us in our weakness. Mm-hmm. But lingering doubt can be a spiritual hindrance. The scripture says a doubter is double-minded and unstable in all his ways and should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Mm-hmm. That reading and scripture can be found in oh, First James 6 through 8. To overcome doubt and walk confidently by faith, We must learn to know our Father's character, ways, and desires through His Word. Then, and only then, we will have a foundation for trust. Even when our requests seem unanswered, trust in His will and His timing. Uh, Amen. And may God have a blessing upon a reading of the Scriptures. Amen.